Big crappie. Big crappie. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. I just got a giant crappie. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everybody. I'm out early in the morning. Looking to do a little pan fishing. We just had a snowstorm come in last night. It's still precipitating a little bit. But we're out here looking for bluegills and crappies. I'm sitting in 16 and a half feet of water. I'm right on a break. And I got a tree right next to me. Uh, the, um, the tree isn't under me, but it's just off to the side of me. So I'm hoping there's some crappies cruising through. And some a few bluegills. But we're going to settle in and see if we can put together a few fish this morning. Yeah, I'm anticipating it to be a good bite. But you never know it's fishing. Here we go. Feels like a crappie. There's a crappie. All right. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Nice fish. Get that guy back. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. There we go. Yes, another crappie. Now we're on him. Got caught in the transducer cord. I'll show you the fish here in a minute. There we go. There's a little guy. We are on him now. It's going to be fun. Hopefully they just keep biting here. I like to fish the crappies really aggressively, especially early on. They seem to like that aggressive fall with the bait. A lot of motion to it. Tease them up. See if we can get them to chase and then lure it down to them. There we go. Finally. Oof, that one came fast. Oof. Nice crappie. There we go. Oh, he didn't hesitate at all. That's what we're looking for. Nice fish. Got him. Really nice bluegill. That's my best bluegill of the day. Wouldn't mind catching a bunch like that. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Cool. That one did not want the bait moving. I I teased him up. He came up and just wouldn't bite, so I just dead sticked him. He ended up taking it in, so maybe on these bluegills we're gonna have to slow things down a little bit. And just kind of judge their mood and give them what they want, but so far the crappies have been active and the bluegills have been just really kind of lethargic. They'll come up and then they won't bite, but we'll try some more dead sticking and see if that uh, helps us put more fish on the ice. Oh my goodness, that one came up fast. This might be a crappie here. Yes, nice crappie. Oh, that's my best crappie. Oh, that guy. Oh, he's doing the crappie twitch. Wow. Very cool. How long he is? Maybe 10 inches. That was fun. He just crushed it. Came right up from the bottom. Get her back down there. See if we can get another one. This is fun. Nice and cozy in the shack right now. Right now there's no wind, but it's supposed to get really windy here as this front passes through. So I got the trees just behind me in the direction the wind's coming, so I'm hoping it blocks the wind if it does pick up here. But I also got the tent so I can stay comfortable. 
Just keep beating up on these panfish. There we go. Crappie. Big crappie. Love it. I love it. Oh, crappies are so fun. Not a giant, but really nice fish. We'll get him back. It's a crap. Oh, bluegill. Nice bluegill. Yeah. Holy smokes. Oh, really nice bluegill. Get him back. Puller here. Must be a bluegill. Nice bluegill. Alright. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Man, is that pretty. Here comes one hot, hot, hot. He's got it. No, we got him. Got him. Finally. Good fish. Nice. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. Barely hooked him. That guy back. That one might be a crappie. Nope, oh, bluegill. Good bluegill. Real good bluegill. Oh, look at that guy. Nice. It's a real nice one. Not monsters, but just nice, respectable bluegills. Fun to catch. There we go. Is there bluegill? Just tell by the rep. Oh my goodness, he's pulling. He is pulling. This might be a better one. Another nice one. Oh, that's my best fish of the day right there. Look at that. Wow, really nice bluegill. Look at that, guys. That's my best one of the day. Man, is that a neat looking fish. So much fun. Really nice fish. We'll get him back. Here comes one really fast for it. Crappie. Gotta be a crappie. Come on, stay on, buddy. Oh, big crappie. It's gotta be a big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. I just caught a giant crappie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that just made my day. 
<laughs> Look at that slab. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. That's unexpected. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That made my day right there. I get that. That's my best crappie of the year for sure. Let's get a measurement on this guy. <laughs> that guys 13 almost 13 inch crappie wow what a hog man look at that fish that was cool <laughs> holy cow look at that fish that is so cool let's get that guy back in the water wow what a nice fish Yes, that was so awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, man. We'll take more of those. Oh, we got something racing up. We got some good marks down there, folks. Oh, wow, we got a good fish on here. It's got to be a bluegill. It's the way he's fighting. Nice fish. Just pounding them today. Wow, this, this is awesome. Another nice fish. Here comes one. Boom. Got him. Bluegill. Big bluegill. Good fish. Oh, big look at that guy. Holy smokes. Nice fish. Man, I'm getting some really nice fish. Look how beautiful that fish is. Big old black gill cover there. Great colors on that fish. Awesome. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Got him. Oh, this feels good. Feels like a bluegill. Nice skill. Nice skill. Look at that. Got him. Got him. Ooh. He's like a good fish. Good fish. Nice crop. There we go. Look at that. Right there. I love catching crappies. Probably my favorite fish to catch. Through the ice, if not perch, it's the crappie. They're so much fun. Getting them suspended and having them chase that bait up and they when they're biting they're usually crushing there we go this looks like a crappie come on please hit it got him bluegill let pause the music Nice bluegill. Oh my gosh, look at that big. Oh, oh what a big. Nice fish. Look at that. What a beautiful fish that is. Man, he came up just like a crappie. What bigger bluegills do that? A nice looking fish. That's that might be my best one of the day right there. 
Pretty sure that's the best one of the day. Got him. Ooh, feels like a good one. Feels like a good fish. Definitely a bluegill. His tail, by the way, is shaking. Oh, nice bluegill. Oh, nice bluegill. My Love it. Love it. Alright guys. Beautiful Mississippi River Bluegill. It's just been a great day. Nice. And the bluegills have been really nice here today. The average size has been really good. Gotten some really small ones, but the the nicer fish have been good. I've been really pleasantly surprised at the size of the bluegills today. So there is a method to, uh, at least I like to think there's a method to using a waxy. You don't just hook it on your on your line and throw it down the hole. Um, there's actually a science behind it, in my mind. And I always hook the waxy. See that little head on the on the wax worm? I always hook it just behind that head. You see that juice come out of them. Massage the waxy a little bit. That's gonna give it that floppy motion. You don't want to string it on there, you just want to hook it once. And then as you're lowering it down into the water column, into those fish, that waxworm is just flopping so naturally. It's a natural flop that you cannot get with a plastic. And I think that's the major difference in using a waxworm versus a plastic. You just can't get that natural flopping motion that the fish just love. Not to mention that the waxy is putting out a scent. You drop a fresh waxy into the water and you can see the scent on the surface. You can see the oils from that just spreading out and the fish just love that. If you're fishing and your waxy's been on there for a while, switch it out and I guarantee you, you'll get more bites. Always keep a fresh one on and uh, I think that'll help you catch more fish. But that's why I use waxworms more than plastics because I believe they outfish them. A lot of people say they caught more fish on plastics than waxies. Well, Maybe they just weren't fishing with the waxy, correct? Uh, not to say plastics don't work. I love using plastics, but I have a hard time believing you're ever going to beat this for panfish. Crappies, bluegills, and even perch love waxworms if you fish them in the correct manner. And this is how I do it right here. Ooh, oh, see the color. Oh, this feels like a good one. The transducer out of the way. Feels like a good bluegill. Oh yeah, really nice fish. Look at that. Oh. There we go, guys. Had an awesome day on the ice today. <laughs> Caught some beautiful fish. Hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching.